Jingles Inferno. Three girls who all like Guan Yi. Hey son, flip. She got possessed by a demon. <laughs> you figure out why the three of them truly adores him, right? But then, right, you don't like him, man. Can you imagine? Yeah. The masterpiece of this show. Why do girls fall for toxic men? Like Guan Yi, yeah. This Whoa. is your daily catch up. The hottest Korean reality show on Netflix singles Inferno season 3 just ended. We are gonna Woo. debrief all of you guys about the season and also we'll be ranking who is the best and worst members on the show. Mm -hmm. Okay, but for people who have never heard of singles Inferno somehow or don't ever plan to watch it, right? What is it? Stranded and ready to mingle. Ooh. Young flirty Korean singles search for love on a deserted island that they can only escape as couples for date nights Dick at nights. the island of paradise. Paradise. Wow. Yeah, so this one's you write one. Uh? No, it's by Netflix. Oh. Nice. I thought the copywriting not bad, so I didn't have to change the words. <laughs> okay, but this season is a bit different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because season one and two, they follow the same format <laughs> of what I just explained, but season three. Oh my gosh, season three, the twist at the end of episode one. Okay, spoiler yeah. alert. If you haven't started, you plan yeah. to watch, right? Come back next episode. No, just watch your name. Give us the views. <laughs> oh, I love that twist at the end. I went right from going, this is the worst season ever. Yeah. Why is this uh, episode so boring to goosebumps? What? What the f so in episode one, right, they revealed mm. there's not just one, but two infernos this time. And then they were swap couples on each yeah. island. I, I thought they should have <laughs> kept that gag longer. That yeah. changing island thing. Yeah, me too. Oh, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. a bit too quick. No, but I do think right that they might have tested it with audiences or whatever and felt that season one was uh, season three was just not exciting enough if they reveal it too later. Like they might mm. have lost retention. On the note of like the production value, it felt like they made uh, the Inferno Island, which is hell, right? Worse. Yes. So that there's that bigger contrast and people want to go to paradise more. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's true, yeah. it's and true. And also the host, like, they go at the season two guy that's wow. into that guy this is the year. Best, yeah, Junior yeah. is yeah. so is handsome and so cool funny, and no. amazing. Is he? Yes. No, but the thing is, right, his reaction, right, is the most unfiltered one. Yeah. 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 No, funny. he changed the dynamic of the, like, in season one, right. I felt like the host yeah. was an entirely useless component Correct. because Correct. they are just narrating what we already saw. Then now I need to hear them just realizing it, you know? Yeah. Then it's as though they scared we never catch it, so they, mm. they just repeat for yeah. us so that we can follow along. They are what, very complicated things, right? Yeah. <laughs> but like, I feel like season three, the, the commenting yeah. panel yeah. had real value. Like, the comedy is also there. Yeah. They are bringing up plots that we may not see. They bring up perspective. A bit like a, a podcast yeah. in yeah, Singapore yeah. that, eh? you know, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the, the, the thing that I really liked early on, right, was that um, I think there was a couple there and then they were in the swimming pool and then they were kind of like a bit hugging, a bit not touching. And then they asked him, so when you went there, like what else happens? And then he's like, right. oh, they confirmed whole hands already lah. Before this, you just don't see any. Like yeah, there was yeah. so much perspective mm. that you go, wow, right. ah, this is way more spicier yeah. than the camera is so showing since us. since we like the panel so much, right, for yeah. this episode, we are going to be... Our own panel. Wow, wow, I got notes, I got so, notes. Oh the my god! Production notes. I printed out my own as so. well. I couldn't. <laughs> oh, your one not very accurate. I also thought your one not accurate. It's accurate. Right? No, for context, right? The host in the season also have play cards with the yeah, faces yeah, yeah. and the names. Which was one of the Easter eggs for me of season three that we get to realize what's on that card. So going through the oh, goal wow. members first, right? We have Kim Gyu Ri, Choi Hae Son, uh. Yoon Ha Jong, mm. Yoo Si Eun. An Mi Young and Choi Min Ji. You didn't butcher that. Great job. And then for the guys, we have Choi Min Woo, <laughs> Lee Jin Sok, Lee Guan Hee, yes. Son Won Yi, Yoon Ha Bin, and Park Min Gyu. Based on first impressions, right? Who stood out to y'all? He's your, he's your own. No he's your way. Own. Hundred percent. No yeah. way. All I thought was, uh, it was Guri, right? That was the other girl. Yeah, Guri yeah. yeah. was the other girl. Annoying and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate her look. Uh, yeah, her vibes. Uh. How so? From the first time you see Guri, you think she annoying? No, you know that there's something wrong with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, there's okay. just something about her look they're just very repulsive yeah, no yeah. you know what like, I feel uh, like right they were trying uh, to make Guri season 3's Gia so if uh, you haven't seen season 1 oh, right, Gia, oh my God, I there was now. this girl that like she just appeared and she like super cool then correct, all the correct. guys just drawn to her like magnet right then she like yeah, Lord, it's just she sit there and be pretty and then yeah. somehow everyone love her and I mm. feel like they thought that Guri would be this character yes, 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 right. Why right. Gia then? got game yeah yeah, yeah, correct, yeah. Correct. I think I was manipulated a little, uh, little by the judges because they also pointed out something which mm. I didn't realise at first and it really affected oh, my okay. which was that when they had to go and like hunt for food right and they thought you can pluck out the corn yeah. <laughs> 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 they never briefed yeah. them like, yeah. 
I think it was Papa Bitty. I yeah, think it was yeah. who? It was Min Young uh, that tried to pull. And then yeah, like yeah. Uh, Hei Xiong was there. So no, it that's why like, he yeah. looks like she from North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> like her face looks like she escaped from North Korea. And I know we all do it. We all have nicknames. Yes. Mm-hmm. For the people that, the plot we care oh, about. Oh shit, my nickname yes, for yes. Min Young is not So I need to understand everybody. So for me, like as I discussed with Pat, right, I will just call her the North Korean because she looked like she escaped <laughs> over there I and then she tried to pull food from <laughs> Anybody want to ah. guess my nickname for Min Young? I watched with Elvin, right? And then we call her the big nene girl. Yeah. <laughs> we call her, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, we just call boobs. Like we oh. say, no, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but that's yeah, how it works. Yeah, yeah. So when the first guy or girl comes in, right? My first impression is, oh, my nickname is Fake Nose. Then the second <laughs> one comes in and then you go, oh, Fake Nose too. <laughs> the 10 person, they all have fake noses. Then, then like, you uh, don't know who is who. You're just a very superior race, you know? <laughs> Maybe. Who has the worst impression? Like, worst first impression? One ink. <laughs> Why? Zero personality, <laughs> nothing going with him. Like, he walked in, right? Initially, my reaction was, Oh, the best looking guy so far. Min Woo is He's damn like ugly. Habin ah. is damn ugly. <laughs> Min Kyu is okay. I think Jin Seong is also quite good looking. He, he's, uh, he looks like Daniel Day Kim if you guys watch uh, Hawaii Five O. <laughs> My what? worst first impression is actually Shum's favorite character. Siyun. Siyun. No, because right, the first episode, then she go and say like, wow, she can eat like carrots for a whole year. <laughs> I was once There's addicted to cucumbers cabbage, for an entire, uh, cabbage for an entire <laughs> month. Then it's like, so pick me. Hey, but my liking for her over the course of the season increased. Cause yeah, I feel like yeah, 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 yeah. first, right, she a bit overcompensating because they purposely put her on the same island as the sister's best friend. Ha Jong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha Jong who, the like the, yeah, who was quite good lah. So, Which oh. to me, Ha Jong made the worst first impression. Correct, yeah. I was gonna say that. Oh. Because oh. I, I, I I thought she was Ginger? very, uh, <laughs> at, at her first appearance, she was very unchill to me. Then mm. I feel like she was a leg below the rest. Okay, so for so. this episode, right, I asked all of you to rank the members from yes. one to twelve. Favorite character to least favorite character. Yeah, so I tabulated okay. all your scores. This is the ranking. Ooh. Yeah. We have number Ooh. one, Choi Hae Son, the short hair girl, which Dan yeah. and John really likes. She was my number two. And at number she twelve number is Won E. Correct. <laughs> the only crime he has committed, right? <laughs> he's being on the show. No, uh, he's being truthful, truthful to one person. His crime is his hair. Hair makers men. And right, Handsome. if he don't do this stupid center part shit, right? <laughs> okay, see, uh, this is him with center part. Uh. Him with no center part. Oh. He looks more fun. Yeah. When I saw the final results, right, I was like wondering why Guan He was so high. He's a- uh, Oh, he's my favorite. No, because when he first come in, right, I really think he really not handsome at all. Then when he revealed his personality, then I think, wow, even worse. When but if Guan He was not on the show, right? From no season show. three would have yeah, been yeah. terrible. Eh? Carry. No, and he said it in his opening interview. Yeah. 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 Which leads me to believe that Guan He was planted. <laughs> yeah. I think that is his No, maybe. No, because right, he got a pair of running man before mm. this time. Like he's yeah. a known figure. Oh. Plus he's a basketballer. He's famous. Yeah. Yeah. He's the, rich the, also. The guys recognized him when they saw him immediately. They're like, this guy is famous. Is it because guys watch basketball? Yeah, because they watch football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, in the first few episodes, right, I love Guan He also. I love his energy. I love his personality and everything. Wow, yeah, so, yeah. Cute. so funny. Then he go with Hajo, so cute. Yeah, he's like you cannot be above, like he, you cannot be below thirty. And then she like yeah, a bit angry, yeah, and then she does her cheat. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, oh my god, it's so it, cute. It. Must add the shoulder, add the shoulder. Uh. Eyes bigger, eyes bigger. No, and, and that's what I love about the commentary of this season. Yeah. They don't just tell us the flow of what's happening. Yeah. They pick up on the body language, which I thought was really no, cute. No, and then the best part is when Jin Sok picked up on it and he copied her yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah. I burst it up. Mad. So now we gotta move to like key moments during Ooh. the show. Wow, so many. Spicy. So the first key moment I felt that was very pivotal to the show was... Radiant. The campfire scene. Oh. After they have a round of voting with candies, all of them gather oh, around candies. a campfire to talk and ask questions. Mm. So one of the questions asked to Guan He was, who are you interested in? Or how many <laughs> girls are you interested in? Then instead of saying the name like, oh, Ha Jong, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he said, Chaw, chaw, chaw. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. means like this one, this one, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then Habin, who was a bit drunk, right? He was screaming like, they have names, bro. They have names. What, like what a yeah, move, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, what yeah. do you all think about that moment? It was at that moment, I realized Habin damn weird. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> 
Tak tahu 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 tak
you can see right how girls talk about guys that they're interested in versus how guys talk about girls. Like yes. I think whenever they showed like the guys bending together, it's always like, oh, like, like I'm thinking about so and so, like, do you think she liked me? Or like, have you heard that whether she liked anyone yes. else? But then yeah. girls together, right? That's something is bitching. And I think it reminds me of this question that people ask in like a Reddit chat. We might have discussed this before about or the girlfriend that is very surprised that when the boys meet, they are not sharing about how they had sex with their partners. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see that, that vibe there. Even the, the gossip details are a lot more uh, explicit when mm. the girls discuss. That's why this venting session plus point for me for Guri because she really avoid him after that. And then minus yes. point for Ha because after that she knocked. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I respect Hajong after that. Was yeah, 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 yeah. She was, no, she was so mature. She I, knows what she yes, wants. And I yes. believe that Hajong, right, got a time to give up on him. Mm. And gonna say, never mind, let's just walk around the island. I haven't really spoke to the rest yet. And then she really, to her credit, try to yeah. talk to the guys that were not like attached. Like how she never disturbed. She never <laughs> disturbed yeah. the, the she, she never disturbed yeah, the yeah, yeah. that yeah. were already done. Correct, she correct. go and check the balance. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But yeah. then realize that Guan He is really the best. And then you realize this is why they are the balance. Ah. Yeah. Talking about established pairings. Yes. Mm. Okay. So the next key moment is oh, no. the confused parents. I call them mm. An Min Yong and Oh Jin Sok. Min Yong and Jin So went to paradise the first time, okay? Mm. And then in paradise, they had like a steamy session in the pool where yeah. apparently he gave her like a back hug and then they walk, walk a bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> they were... <laughs> Why? She also I was getting into the, like, the pitching yeah, hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so after the incident, right, they seem like they are each other's pick already. Yes. Right? Unbeknownst to... Jin Sok, actually Min Young be, been telling the girls like, actually he feels like a brother. Mm, yeah, like yeah, I mm. take the hug as like a brotherly hug. So at the campfire, when they asked Jin Sok, hey, who you interested in? How many candies? He said one. And then he said, it's mm. Min Young. She was actually them affected at the campfire. Yes. She angry at Yeah, him, she man. was angry. And then when they had a confrontation, right? She was like, I'm very sad about it. I felt like you shouldn't have said it in public because right, it affects her. It affects yeah. like, it her hinders, uh, yeah, her it hinders other guys yeah. from actually talking to her and she wants yeah. to explore more. Jin Sok yes. was like, sorry, I didn't know you felt that way. Mm -hmm. But then in the scene, I was like, bitch, what the hell? And okay. she would <laughs> need to regret it. <laughs> no, but actually it's very she interesting. She's not holding for her. Yeah. 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 This whole time I thought she was hosting and segmenting the show. No, she's telling us. No, <laughs> she's just telling us how she feels. No, but what was interesting about that talk, right, is that Min Young had also uh, revealed that she actually gave out four candies, mm. which the commentators did point out was a good move because she wanted to kind of show everybody that she's on the market. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, she yeah. was not the one that, okay, I don't know who approached who, but Jin Sook did most of the talking first. And I think he acknowledged and he realized what he was doing. It made a lot of people like realize that, oh, this is a very self-aware guy. Then he's very kind towards her, like say like, okay, you can go and explore, mm. but I'm going to like still invest in you lah. What people didn't like was that Min Young seemed to give off the vibe of like she want to explore but he cannot explore. When I watched that part right, the, when they confront each other, I feel like Min Young was a bit immature. Like mm. she was not mature enough to tell him that, mm. that I want to be in the market, right? But I want to get to know the rest. I want to get to know the yeah. rest. But at the same time, I really appreciate that you show so much affection towards me. I think it's it was him. also because of his character. And to be honest, if, if I were to choose an archetype, right? of how who I relate to the most is when I like somebody, right? Mm. Is, is Jin Sook. In a sense whereby, I think in my early days especially, like it's very easy for me to fall for someone. In my like younger days, very mm. easy. Like if you show me some form of affection, affection right? Okay. I'm like, wow, <laughs> you, you know, what I'll do anything for you, that kind of thing, right? Which has been consistent with his behavior yeah. throughout the show, which yeah. probably is another key moment later, right? Yeah, oh, so you actually look a bit like Jinsu, actually. <laughs> Whoa, the head, the head, hello. The head, hey, she's showing affection, right? Careful. So when Minji arrived, right? Wow. Then it's suddenly like when they had a talk with Jinsu. Yeah. Then I was like, oh my God, go hope for him to run away from the yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And then when they went to paradise, they seemed to have like a Hit good conversation. Yeah. 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 And then the An Min Young suddenly she was talking to Ming Gyu, right? Then she was like, what to do? Uh, I miss what him. Okay. Like, yeah. what should I do? I realized when he's gone, right? Then I suddenly like feel all these feelings. Yeah. Then I was like, <laughs> Sorry, what the hell, girl? You like, only, you only like treasure the guy when he's gone, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm grateful. Okay. But Minji's first impression though, I was like, oh my gosh, she's damn cute eh. <laughs> Like, I really liked her first impression. I also okay. like, I, also I like. was very happy for uh, Jin Seo when yeah, she came out. Too. I was like, yes! Yeah. I was like, yes. like a word, yeah. worthy to you because I really yeah, like yeah. him already. That's like worthy. Yeah, he got yeah, an out. Yeah. The next 
key pivotal oh, moment so nice. is the always infernal love featuring <laughs> Minwoo and Si Eun. They have been like wanting to talk to each other ever since they saw each other, right? They've been giving each other the eye stare. Yeah. Like you look at me for like at least three seconds or more, right? But nobody said anything. And they never got a chance to really talk to each other properly. So every yeah. time they talk, right? Suddenly the announcer will say like, okay, do, do, do. it's time to vote. And yeah. then like they have Yorobun. to leave. Si Eun was so frustrated about the timing mismatch that she cried in her room after mm. like they tried yeah, to Yeah, so she cried, I just want to cry with her, you know? I'm so sad. Yeah. No, so much she, yeah, when you do that, though, you want to cry with everybody though. She's always by the saying? corner, you know? Then when she uh, sit there, also it's like, wow, that's damn yeah. sad. <laughs> the first time she came, Dingo Paradise, it's like she took it so personally, like the first time she got rejected in life. This uh. is literally the photo, she sat in the corner. <laughs> and then she like, hmm, nobody likes yeah. me. When Min Woo, right? Mm. Actually, he got another girl, Gyuri Ma. Mm. When she went to Paradise, right? She tell him specifically, lay low, okay? <laughs> lay low, yeah. and, and behave. But Min Woo behave? never behave. Min Woo decided to take the opportunity to finally talk to Sin. So, cause they are both in Inferno, uh, finally. Yeah. And uh. got time. <laughs> so, when they were talking, right? Suddenly, Min Woo changed. He suddenly damn forward. Instead of being shy, yeah. he really tell her feelings. He expressed his like, like for her. Yeah. And that, you are gonna be my only choice now. Min and then Sin was like, oh my God, I feel the same way. I, I think that's what it does for your ego when runner up Miss Korea <laughs> try and tackle you. So yeah. important. <laughs> you think you can get anyone else? And even when Sion was on pa in Paradise with Warnick, right? She was really not interested. She mm. was like, mm, so yeah. busted all that. I feel so no, sad for him. He's eh. so uncomfortable. Like, you go yeah. to Paradise and I like, was super she... angry when Warnick go and pick Siyun. Yeah. Because yeah. that was the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, she already tell him, like, try to drop as many hints as possible. Don't pick me, don't pick me, don't pick me. Then he go and pick her. Exactly. Yeah. You know, he got no game. He's not self aware <laughs> enough. But he really <laughs> like her. What you want him to do? It brings us to the next key moment. So, the next day, Gyuri comes back. Back. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Minu decided to go to Gyuri and have a talk. La. He confessed that he was more interested in si 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 mm. And then Gyuri right, suddenly turned cold and harsh. No, like, she got possessed by a demon. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wait, she suddenly, like she felt disgusted, right? That he he suddenly his about his attitude about weighing choices. And then because she hate Guan He so much, right? <laughs> she even said, like, you uh, remind me of Guan He. You yeah. Guan He now, is it? Like that. <laughs> Suddenly, Si Eun right, decide like, I want to go talk to him now. So she opened the door. Then Gyuri right, stared back at the door. And then she's like, can I talk to Minu now? And then she said, no. She possessed eh. <laughs> she looked like Samara, you know, from the ring. I crawl out of the yeah. TV. Eh, yeah, like. she take out the mic. Oh, huh? yeah, she take out the mic. <laughs> then she keep she laughing. Angry. She keep laughing like the Joker. Eh. Yeah. It's like disbelief, but I got mad. <laughs> yeah, she really went mad. She's like, oh my God. Like, I miss Kobe Rana. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then people online after that scene, right? They were they think that she's very double standard mm, because she yeah. does the same thing, like weighing two guys or so. Yeah. So why is it that she yeah. like felt that he was bad? It was up? very hypocritical. I have a theory yeah. though. I, I think uh Yuri was not really interested in any of the balanced guys mm, left. Mm. But I think she, she feel like if she go with Min Woo, which seems very impressionable, because I think he's very young. So it's like if you show him a bit of attention, he will give you back that kind. Mm. So I think it was kind of her strategy to bite her type in this game show mm. so she don't seem like Habin. In her paradise date with Minu, she tried very yeah, hard yeah, yeah. to make him fall in love with her even though he was like so kept, right? Mm. Yeah, so I think she realised that all that has Mitch. gone to shit and no more other plans and still got two more episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like we still got four days here then I, I feel like it's part of that that mm. I slut myself out on TV eh, for you. What this is like, right, is, uh, you know, Hunger Games, right? She knows that she doesn't love Pita yet, but she needs to f make this love mm. thing happen, right? So that donors will come and give them gifts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so then after that, when she finally made herself kiss Peter for the donors already, Peter said, hey, don't kiss me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was what she felt, yeah, I think. Actually, I like your sister. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay, anyway, but I think that like on the exact note, it's what I felt about the whole show. I didn't feel like any of them right, were actually there to find a partner. Yeah, because yeah. like you said, season three sponsors, whatever. It felt like everyone there, right? It's like popularity contest trying to like win, Correct. win yeah. something. And I think that's what happened to Gyuri, who is perhaps also Miss Korea, never had a guy oh, reject yeah. her in her life before, right? Yeah. And then like believing right that she were like, win over Min Woo from Si Eun no matter what. Yeah. But then the fact that he flipped mm. was what set the switch off. Ah. I move on to the final most viral key moment of Singles Inferno. Oh shit. Where it really switched my perspective of a character. Oh yeah. shit. The helicopter scene oh. from episode 9. Ah. 
it is the final day, paradise day, okay? Oh. And three girls get to pick who they want to go to paradise with. Because mm. they play a game. Three yeah. girls who all like Guan He. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lee Son get the first pick because she won first, so she chose Guan He. So followed by Hei Jong, she no choice, right? She chose Han Bin who never go paradise before. Mm. Okay? Also on that note, Han Bin also did hint that yeah. I want to bring you. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. when they were talking, right, he say, when we go to paradise, yeah, then I want you. to really talk to you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Right. Lin Ji chose Mingyu. Extra information is that Guan He, right, tell her, when you pick, right, don't pick Mingyu. She say, pick Jin Sok because yeah. I trust Jin Sok more. Yeah. The way Guan He phrased it to Min Ji was that, if you don't want me to suspect your feelings for me, yeah. pick Jin Sok. Yeah. And then oh. she didn't. But I also think I understand where she's coming from mm. because he fished a lot for her affection, but he doesn't ever give back. Mm. So he does, I think at this point, she's trying to make her play for a bit of a shred of dignity. Okay, continuing on. I haven't even gone into the helicopter. The best narrative. <laughs> Ever. Okay, so funny. in the helicopter to paradise, right? Guan He was sitting in between his son who who picked him and then Minji on the other <gasps> side. And then Minji tried to pull his sleeve cause to talk to Guan He, but Guan He obviously wasn't facing her. Then she mm. keep pulling his sleeve cause she wants attention, like please like please talk to hey, me. Please talk to me. He didn't even look at her. No, okay, I imitate. You pull, you pull my sleeve. Okay. Yeah. But he's laughing at the camera. Yeah. He's laughing at the camera. And then go pull. <laughs> So while all this was happening, right, Mingyu, who is Minji's date, mm. said like, eh, like, don't, don't really lah, like, stop it, don't disturb him. Mm. Then Minji started to cry. Like, like ugly cry. Yeah. It's <laughs> the biggest cry, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only uh-huh. ugly cry, the rest yeah. of uh-huh. ugly cry. Uh-huh. So as she was crying, right, the poor Mingyu, right, take out his shirt, take out his shirt, right, like Woo! that, and use his button shirt to wipe her. She, she, she said, just use lah, just use lah, like that. So then from one angle, it looks like she's giving him a blow. <laughs> Ah, she's like that. Ah, she's yeah. over because you can't take from the bottle, it's quite fitting. Ma. Yeah. So it was later revealed that Guan He didn't know she cried. Yeah. And then from his perspective, when he like took a peek, right, then it looked like she Talking. leaning into him, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Uh, like whispering. Yeah. Yeah. But actually... Mm. <laughs> uh, this is the moment where I found the thing I don't like about Minji. You already picked who you want to pick, right? And then mm. as soon as you get on the helicopter, it's like couples decided. So why the fact that she still go and like try to appeal to him, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. like get his attention with his son sitting right next to him was what I felt like was the disrespectful yeah. part. No, I feel like he, so, he disrespect Min Q. Yeah, both yeah. of them. Like and you there with your date, right? Then you clearly trying to sh- tell him that like, actually you just like, mm. I just brought you along. You're a filler. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <sighs> Ayo, Min Q, Queen Chan ah. <laughs> How smart is it for the producers to put them in the same helicopter and see like that? Yeah? Mary. How much do you think, right, the, the three girls were after Guan He because the fact that they, they don't have to know how much money he makes, but if he is a mm-hmm. national basketball player, right, he's got to be the richest guy in there. And so they're like, <laughs> gotta get with him. <laughs> this theory leads us to the finale. Oh. Yeah. oh no, what's the finale? So in the finale, basically one person will go to a side of the island. Then whoever is interested in the person will go and stand behind the person. So for example, right, I'll be like, okay, then go and stand there. Then now, whoever is interested in then go and stand in front of him. Then we're yeah. all just there. He's like, it's just that distant to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very awkward one. The first person to go was Jin Sok. Oh. Okay, so he went to stand there and obviously An Min Yong <laughs> went to, to go and stand behind him. Up until that moment, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, Jin Sok still never give Min Yong his Full guarantee. Yeah. yeah. He, he refused to give her any form of guarantee. Yeah. Mm. And honestly, when they chat and she put him aside, he looks so uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Then I feel like, wow, really the propaganda from the North is really getting to him. <laughs> then he's like, oh, I know this <laughs> propaganda, you know? So you can see he's so uncomfortable yeah. already. That's why we have no information to verify that she's from North Korea. She's not from North Korea. <laughs> no, she's but not. I agree with what John said earlier, yeah. not about North Korea, but about <laughs> the fact that like he was a bit scarred. So yeah. I think he realized that like him pulling away from Min Young worked. And then so yeah. from then on, even though she kept coming to him, right, he still tried to maintain the distance to yeah. keep her running after him. So in the end, he decided to leave the island with her. Oh, oh well Very done. Very awkward, fun. Because literally you go there, then Denise go there at the end. Now yeah, I say, yeah. then Denise will say, then I pick you, right? Yeah. And now I ask you, then who you pick? Then you can only pick from Denise <laughs> or go you. home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Denise, ah. Here's a thought experiment. Huh? Okay, mm-hmm. if Jin Seok was not asked to go, if Min Yong was asked to go there, mm-hmm. oh. and then now we say, now everybody's seated. And I say, whoever interested in her, stand up and go there. Yeah. I feel like there's a good, 
60, 70% chance, right? Jisook is done and he won't even stand up to go there. Huh? Disagree. I think he will go. You think he really love he her that go. much? No, I don't think he love her, but I think he will do it, right? Just because he's a gentleman. Like, yeah. he don't want to embarrass, embarrass her, like nobody go for her because he, he know that nobody else will go. Uh, and he right, know that right. he has been stringing her along so far already. Right. Yeah. The internet calls them like the divorced parents. So uh, I think it's like that kind of like, yeah, for the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so he I just see. like for the plot and like for everybody happiness, like I yeah, shall yeah, just yeah. go. Okay, next person who went was Kim Gyuri. <gasps> oh! Who went? Wow. Yes. Who went? Who stood up for Gyuri? Oh. Min Woo. Oh no, but there's the Seon in the picture. Min Kyu. And? Oh, and? I would say Min Kyu only. She said, Correct. Yeah. Correct. And did Gyuri choose him back? Yes, la, I think, yes. La. Yeah, she too bad to go. Yeah, yeah, just for fear of being <laughs> unpaid, I think, because she's Miss yeah, Korea. Yeah, so she, she said yes, and then they walked away together, but she did look very happy to be yeah. honest. Oh. Okay, next, Si Eun. Oh, oh, Minwoo, Minwoo. Minwoo? Minwoo, and Wonik. And Wonik. And then she will choose Minwoo. Correct. So, ah. in the end, the Inferno lovers left the island and Wonik stand there very sad Ayoh. while he watched them. Yeah, and, and I think at that period, because um, I think Minwoo went first, right? Mm. And... And then Warnick still sat there. I mean, the, the editor dragged it out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but then I thought it was really brave for Warnick to still go, knowing that he's definitely not chosen because yep. she made it so clear to him the day before uh. that I like Minu. For him to go there and still make, yep. like in front of her, not get chosen and then have to do the walk of shame back mm. and sit down. Eh. You not get chosen, you cannot go home yet. Eh. Mm. You go back and sit down with the rest that haven't go. Eh. I but felt like I was really brave of him. Then it, at that moment, I really respected him. Okay, next, the climax of okay, the finale. So the last person who went out is Lee Guan Hee. Oh, 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 oh. oh, so they take is either girl or guy go up. Yeah, they don't oh. care. They don't care. They just want to hurt oh your feelings. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Who stood up for Guan Hee? So okay, Heson, Minji, and who did Ha no, Jung go for? I don't think Minji. I think Heson and Ha Jung. Okay, the first person who stand up was Minji. She walked all the way there. <sighs> She and never hesitate according yeah. to the editor. She just spring up yeah. and run. Yeah. <laughs> and then suddenly, right, there was a very long pause. Yeah. Then suddenly, you hear, <sighs> then Ha Jong stand With up. a sigh. Ah. <laughs> Knowing oh. she won't get big, she was the one oh. Because it was made clear to her that he is choosing between yeah. Hyeseon and Minji and she still win. Mm. So after Ha Jong scolded Guan Hee, then that relationship kind of sour. broke. Yeah, it soured. But then she still go after him and I think like episode 9 or 10, like in the end when neither of them went to paradise, then uh, they got to talk one-on-one -on -one and she made it clear that she will still pick him. After she left and she stand there, there's suddenly no other girls want to stand up. So no other girl want to stand up because right at the finale episode also, then... Guan Hee was actually still like thinking between like Minji and Heison. Yeah. So the last person that Guan Hee went to paradise with was Heison, right? And then after that, it seemed like he made up his mind already. But then come back, then he found out that Minji cried. Yeah. Then suddenly he's shaken again. Then I think Guan Hee went back to Heison and like tried to ask like, oh, so what if, like what if, what if, will you still pick me? Like, am I still your favorite? That kind of trying to like fish for something again. Mm. Then Heison flipped and said like, I'm not going to give you what you want. I think I've done enough. Then during the final campfire, right? No matter people ask her through for a drink question, right? She know what Guan he wants to hear, and she refused to give him the answer. And then she, in her face, right, it's really done already. She did what oh, Hajong did too early. There. Oh, okay. Ha Before Hajong okay. baited, yeah. Hajong already played hard to get. Mm. Yeah. But she only at the last episode she was done with him already. Mm. Yeah, well, and he, she really he's got more patience, I think. Yeah. Correct. No, yeah. but I think she had more distractions. Which is why the cliffhanger at the end was so suspenseful because both of them stand up, right? And then it cuts to Heson and you know that she angry mm. at this point. She give up. She don't know, right? Am I going to have a future with this guy or not? He's going to continue to be insecure. Is this what I want to get myself into? Yeah. Camera stays on her for two minutes. She doesn't move. But then, but then. But then the music come in. <laughs> and she gets up. Oh! And she, oh! But does oh! Guan He pick her? He didn't pick anyone. No, he oh. picked Minji. Huh? <laughs> so his final choice was... <laughs> hey, son. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Let's go. Yeah, and I know the, the last episode was masterfully edited because mm. it really showed and the, there was a part because Hajong was cut off way too early already. They ended her arc, right? By the point where she had a conversation with him and through that conversation with him, she realized that 
whatever he felt so strongly for so him, who right? Is she? Ha Jong, ha Jong. Okay, okay. was real yeah. because he admitted to her that I really uh, like you or even love her, right? Yeah. At, at, at that point. Mm. And so I think Ha Jong this whole time was thinking, was he playing me the whole time? Mm. And so she was always like, love sick but angry, love sick but angry. Mm. But they managed to finish her arc very nicely, mm. right? And then she said, I'm okay now. Mm. Knowing that what we had was real and mm. things changed along the way. And I sensed that it did change too. I just mm. needed to know whether... Like yeah, that was that real. Was real. She just needed that, you know. Yeah, and they give her that, and so despite that, when they say who wants to go, she still stand up for him. I really proud of her. Uh, yeah, I really like her. She's the only one I follow on Instagram. She best. She's the best. Like, but she's such an influencer on Instagram. I hate it. Okay, Lee Kuan Hee on <laughs> TDK. <laughs> just throwing it out into the universe manifest. You know, Kuan Hee has been the talk of the town for this season. Like he's really like the producer's dream. Everything. Mm, yeah. like, he Damn really. Cool keeps you guessing uh, even until the last moment like, you yeah. really don't know who he will pick yeah. he carried yeah. the show it's so hard to hate him and like him also yeah. so Jasmine from our office right Hi, she, she did some CSI so there are a lot of, Google artic- there are a lot of articles right uh-huh. people went to dig Guan Hee's uh, social media long mm. enough to find that there was a group photo <laughs> Minji and I think, I think it's Heishon were in the photo together or is it <gasps> yeah, Hajong, Hajong. Hajong. so like they knew they already knew each other from last time uh-huh. and it was some form of high society event <gasps> because Guan He was one of the highest paid basketballers mm-hmm. and is also uh, children of uh, Chebo, uh, like a rich family yeah. in, yeah. in Korea. So Guan He's family is like this claim la, top 0.5% in Korea, which is why, right, he actually during the season had asked Ha Jong and Minji whether like, hey, like y'all do background check on me, uh, that kind of thing. Like he sussed them. Right. So then Heson, right, was the only person that really didn't know him at all. So then people oh, yeah, feel yeah. like, right, actually how much of it was the two of them in need for the money and that's why Hajong at the end die still go for him yeah. and then Minji felt like oh she lost out in the game that kind but the TikTok interpretation of that information right mm. is that he maybe felt insecure because they know him already he's in an environment where maybe some of them don't know who he is ma. Yeah. so he's trying to really like try to find love and really like evaluate this girl right whether you will be with me and how much you really like me I think yeah. that's why through the whole season right he keep he is right. the what if guy yeah. because and also, like his whole life he's probably in either been trying and be match made by his family to make sure that the mm-hmm. money stays within rich families mm-hmm. or that there are all these fans that try and reach out Aya, to him. Yeah, yeah, so it's, that's why he, that's why he is like he vibes, like, That rounds off his arc, which is, I mean, that yeah, says why he is like insecure. La. But yeah. as a final comment, mm. I do think, right, that he did what was right to do in that he actually made his intentions very clear to whoever he was talking to, although his delivery needs to be much improved. That's my final judgment mm. of him. I yeah. think it's stacked though. I think it's also down to in their individual uh, like flirting conversations, right? He's mm-hmm. always putting people down and then he always fishing for praises. He always set up the question or to make people Praise validate him. him. Mm-hmm. So I think it's the annoyance of that. Plus mm-hmm. when he's stating his intention, he's so blunt. Do you think that our list is accurate? I think Guan He should be number two. <laughs> <laughs> Agree. I think he was number two on my no, list. I, want to, I still think Ha Jong is number one. Her final episode in Paradise with Ha Bin damn funny. Because like, she don't get what he's saying, right? Then he's talking, talking to her, right? Then he says say, say one very long sentence about why he cannot open up. Oh. Then yeah. she don't get it. Then she say, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> she's saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's saying it. <laughs> she said, I don't understand what you're saying. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> oh my God, I don't want that part. <laughs> I'll watch it again. <laughs> so this is our final list. So you can comment down below if you disagree or agree with us and let us know who is your favourite and least favourite character. Also. Okay, so thank you very much for watching today's episode and thank you very much, Alison, for hosting her first <laughs> ever TDK. Fantastic. You want to thank your guests for being here? <laughs> <laughs> thank you to our guests for being here while Uncle at the side that is wandering around the coffee shop. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode. Like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, watch the f***ing show, Ken. That one got me Honestly, one so <laughs> hey, I'm not happy uh, with how rushed this episode is. We yeah, got a lot more yeah, to say. Uh. To say. Yeah. No, bro, you have to watch to understand how great all these three girls are. And how they truly, how he truly deserves the adoration of these three girls. You watch it and then you, you figure out why the three of them truly adores him, right? But then, right, you don't like him, man. Can you imagine yeah, yeah, yeah. the masterpiece no, no, of this show? Like